What's up guys, IK here. In this video, I'm going to be telling you my reasons why you should use more PBR materials than the materials available in the Vire material library. Now, for those who haven't heard about PBR materials before, this is the breakdown of it. PBR, Physically Based Rendering Materials. Basically, a method of shading and rendering that provides a more accurate representation of how light interacts with materials and surfaces as you can see in the examples you can see most of my renders and i basically use pbr materials for all my renders so that's how i get this more accurate presentation of how light interacts with my scene now for you to know what you're working with is a pbr material the material has to come in four different variations basically the diffuse map specular slash reflection map the bump slash normal map and the displacement map now, the diffuse map is the most basic of all of them. It's basically the image, the particular image of the material which you want to put into your render. It may be brick, water, a picture of you, anything. That's the diffuse map. The specular slash reflection map is basically an RGB, a solid color, or a black and white image or map used for reflectance values of your materials. If you want to know more about specular slash reflection maps, you can watch my video on the card above on how I use reflection maps for my materials. The bump slash normal map. First of the bump amp. The bump amp is a black and white image used to add bumps and dents to the material. In the black and white image above, you can see there are white parts and dark parts all merged together. What the bump map does and what your rendering engine does is that it calculates the black and the whites, meaning the whites go up and the black stays down. So that's how you're able to know where you have bumps and dents in your materials. But as for the normal map, which is an RGB texture, which is more visible to the human eye, you already know which parts of the material has a bump and a dent to it. I prefer using normal maps on my own and most PBR materials come with normal maps instead. Finally, the displacement map. A displacement map is a grayscale depth map. Just like the bump and normal map, it works the same way in adding bumps and dents, but in terms of depth, it adds, adds a bit of height to the image and the material. This is more visible in materials with irrespective heights such as bricks, tiles, and maybe water material depending on the map you're using if you want to know more about bump normal and displacement maps you can watch the bump normal and displacement map tutorial in my channel simply by clicking on the card above now the very materials are basically materials that very chaos group put into the material library for our users designers now these materials are really great in terms of how many they are as in there's so many i can't even begin to list from bricks to car paints to ceramic and porcelain and so many others. I'm forever grateful for Chaos Group for doing this and the mo biggest advantage that these materials have is that they give us designers a starting step on like testing whatever color or material is best for whichever project that you're doing. Now the reason you might say why I am throwing shade on the materials here I'm not actually, I'm just bringing a fact that although the materials are really great in terms of how they look, how they function, they are, if I may say, poorly equipped compared to PBR materials. Now, this is why. This brick material, for example, let me add this to my scene. Okay, then I begin editing this material. All right, as you can see here in the preview, it's a bit flat with depth yes so we scroll down we see we have a bump slash normal map enabled with a bump map put in default we put this into as you can see the white parts and the dark parts and it's on one which is the default and changes to the material well they will be visible if you were to increase this to let's say two and if a displacement map was put into this now that's where the equipment comes into play a displacement map should have been input in this material i get it not all brick materials have this particular depth to them but for a brick material to function you need to put that depth part of it so that you'll be able to see clearly like for example this image right now this was an image rendered with V-Ray for SketchUp and the bricks here have been have all been in port really equipped with their bump and displacement parameters. So compare this to what V-Ray has here, I mean you clearly see the difference. That is a more realistic option than what V-Ray has to offer right here. 
now the second reason why i'm throwing a bit of shade under this is that although the materials look like a lot they are pretty limited compared to the number of people out there using vire for sketchup for example this brick material now i'm very sure if you've seen renders online you'd have come across many of these textures out here and um, for you being a designer what makes you stand out is the fact that your work speaks for you and your work is different and that means your ability to use materials based on your creativity and everything but when you have for example there's this concrete yes concrete now the most common concrete material here that i see almost everyone using for their vire materials is this material right here the concrete simple e202 let me add this to my scene as you can see this is it now this is concrete as an industrial version and everything it has a bump map no displacement map as i'm saying six here and it is pretty average it's not that realistic so in my own terms it's not great if for instance you had a pbr material of concrete this would look so much better i can check this image right here i made this with very and a concrete pbr material and you can compare the two i mean just check them out the third reason why i'm hitting on the fact that we should use pbr materials more is the fact that these materials here although they look great in the preview and might look great in your render depending on your resolution like for example i normally set my render to 2k or up to 4k depending on the products i'm working on they are not that detailed the maps vire uses they are low quality in terms of their resolution for example this concrete right here i am going to pull up the file the location here it says program files chaos group vray i'm going to go up to it now we have different materials over here all very materials thankfully so let's go to the diffuse map and as you can see in the dimensions we have 1024 by 1024 it's not even up to 2k so it's basically um it's low resolution and that really affects your render in terms of how crisp your materials look if you're working on the rendering and you have a 2k resolution setup using this material it will blur out actually because we will have to expand it scale it up to actually make it look 2k but doing that you actually lose details in the material so that's why i urge you always use pbr materials because they always they always have options on what you want to download either 2k 4k some even go as high as 32k but you have to watch for the file sizes now although many of my points have been a bit convincing on why you should make the move to pbr materials if you are comfortable using vr materials that is just fine i mean basically your renders will look good and everything but in terms of having that it top advantage over most of the renders out there you have to switch up pbr materials and it's only a few megabytes in terms of your downloads away actually let me know in the comment section actually which materials you prefer either pbr or vray materials i will be so interested in knowing what you use and also let me know what else you'd like to see from this channel in terms of the direction we're going in terms of teaching and everything be so in tune to that Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Do make sure to check out other videos in my channel. And also, if you want to subscribe to this channel, hit the circle on the left side of the screen. And if you want to check out the previous video, hit the right side of the screen. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.